Hello my family and welcome to today's marathons workout. I cannot believe but we're getting to the end of this marathon. You probably know that it takes 21 days to get um, something into your habit. Well, at least 21 days. And we're doing this marathon for three weeks. But do not worry, there is something else waiting for you after it's over. But today, let's talk about what's happening today. We're working on our upper body. I'm starting my timer and you as always make sure that you are warmed up have your water ready right next to you and let's get this one done together we're starting with the first exercise you can do it seated like myself or standing bring your arms at a shoulder level and bring your shoulders all the way back and down and turn your palms upwards from here you're only going to be doing pulses so you're staying at a shoulder level, your arms are nice and strong and do not lock your elbows. As always, your elbows are off lock. Little pulses, so there is not a big movement. It is a tiny movement, but let me show you from the back as well. So you can see the muscles which are being worked out. And ladies, this one is amazing for this part which we're all trying to tone up and get looking better so little pulses backwards and we're done with it the next exercise is going to be in and out band so what we're doing here is you're staying seated once again and waiting for our timer bring your arms in front of you you go you're bending forward keeping your arms at a shoulder level bring them back as far behind as you can bring them back to the middle come up to standing position and immediately go into another rep make sure that your back is straight tilt your pelvic floor there is no arching in your back keep your abs engaged arms really strong arms you're tensing every single muscle if you want keep fists just like so or keep your palms open and keep doing it you should feel that in your shoulders almost immediately bring your shoulder blades together when you're doing when you're opening up your arms amazing you should be feeling that great burning already so the next exercise is going to be a row to a side raise go into your four your knees underneath your hips and your wrists are underneath your shoulders tilt your pelvic floor up to engaged and from here drive your elbow all the way back and to the ceiling keep it really close to your body then bring it back down and do a side raise make sure that you're really tensing all the muscles in the arm and you need to engage them not just swing your arm uh, to the back to the side strong arm tense your muscles think about the muscles working engage them properly do not lock your elbow once again keep tilting your pelvic floor the arm is engaged it is straight but elbow is off lock as always elbow staying really close to your body so like literally drag the arm really close to your body and elbow goes all the way back and up to the ceiling and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side so staying on your floor and elbow goes up no tension in your neck so looking straight onto the floor not trying to look up not trying to look down either the neck should be relaxed neck is not working here our arm our back our shoulders this is what's working and our core it is always braced and engaged and keeping us in that steady position so we're not wobbling we're not swinging and controlling it mind muscle connection think about those muscles in your arm in your shoulder at the back which are being worked out and one more rep bring it up and then bring it to the side amazing and now we're moving to the next exercise which is going to be a push-up but push-up on our floor knees at about hip width and underneath our hips our wrists are underneath our shoulders and hands at a shoulder width and from here you keeping your elbows in don't let them to go out nice and slow you're lowering yourself down and coming up 
do not rush with this movement take your time slowly on the way back elbows staying in controlling that rep and going up if you are shaking this is how it should be the longer your muscle stays under that tension so the slower your movement is the longer is the duration of the tension so the harder it has to work and of course you will be shaking and of course you will be feeling tiredness in your triceps at the back of your upper arm this is how it should be while I'm talking we're moving to the second round and we're starting with our back pulses again so let me see backwards to you shoulders away from your ears all the way back and down nice and strong arms and tiny pulses backwards back is straight no arching pelvic floor is tilted small movement bringing shoulder blades together tensing our arms no uh, spaghetti arms nice and strong small movement do not rush and control it keep your arms at a shoulder level don't let them to go down nice and high and palms facing upwards keep going don't forget your breathing we're not holding our breath we're exhaling inhaling amazing that burns that burns so good and now we're doing in and out bend so guys as I said we're getting to the end of this workout but do not be discouraged when we get when we get to the end you can go back to the beginning and start it from scratch and see how you have progressed and then I will continue posting my workouts and if you go to my beginners playlist you will see various workouts there already so you can change them every single day and you will have fun routines effective routines and they will very very short and require no equipment or minimal equipment and let's do this strong arms pelvic floor is tilted and core is engaged always brace your core when you're exercising and it doesn't matter which part of the body you are working on engage your core and keep it engaged for the workout so now knees under our hips wrists underneath our shoulders strong arm close to your body bring it up and then to the side tensing all the muscles the whole arm is engaged your shoulder is on fire keep doing it and up back and up this is your movement like drive that elbow all the way back to your glutes and then up to the ceiling amazing and sideways neck is relaxed and is following the spine abs are engaged not leaning to any side back is in a neutral position well done and now what we're doing of course we're doing the same thing on the opposite side so let's get ready and let me turn this way and let's do this so close to our body go up and to the side and again up back and up and to the side and as always exhaling when it is the hardest arm goes down inhale and to the side exhale keep going we have 15 seconds left keep reminding yourself about the good posture about a muscle engagement that mind muscle connection literally think my arm is working my shoulder is working help your body to understand which part of the body is working out think think about this and then your brain will do the rest for you and now we're doing our push-ups so going on to our floor making sure that we're not injuring ourselves our safety is priority going down elbows not going out they staying inwards 
and the moment you touch the floor with your forehead you start moving upwards amazing and again go down under control do not rush enjoy that shaking in your arms that is showing you that you are working your muscles are working hard to control you amazing and notice you can swing through this movement without a muscle engagement as it should be but if you start moving slower you control your body and your body is tensing those muscles which are working on its own so now we move into our last round if you're drinking make sure that you only have small sips and let's go to our back pulses palms up and arms at a shoulder level nice and strong arms and let's do this keep going small movement and a slow movement shoulder blades coming together there and you opening up your chest we're improving our posture once again we're not just getting lean muscle and burning calories we are improving our posture we're improving our balance we're improving flexibility and we're improving our life it's going to be so much easier to perform daily tasks picking up heavy bags in the shop i don't know picking up your kids moving stuff around in your house the more you do workouts with me the easier your life is going to be and i'm super happy to be able to share those workouts with you while i'm talking it's in and out and bring your arms together palms facing down bend forwards bring your arms behind you bring those shoulder blades together and then come up sit up well done bend strong arms staying at the shoulder level it's going to be hard but keep doing it try your best nice and big circle well done and again bend strong arms keep your shoulders away from your ears so before every rep before every exercise think about your form and correct it and bend and let's finish this off well done and now we're moving to our rows so let's start with your favorite side i'm going to start from my right hand let's do this elbow staying close to your body that arm is staying close to your body go down and bring that arm to the side when you're bringing that arm to the side you're only working with your shoulder so you're not doing this you're not rotating your body it's just your arm as far as it can go it moves upwards pelvic floor is tilted and after engaged constantly keep driving the arm up and then straighten it and all the way up to the side amazing and another rep and another one close to your body control it let's finish this off amazing and now we're doing the same thing but on the other side so let me move this way catch your breath get into the proper position always align your joints to prevent injury tilt your pelvic floor brace your abs and let's go drive that arm upwards elbow staying close to your body and then to the side and another rep and one more and another rep keep doing it we only have one last exercise after this and the workout is going to be over if you're feeling really strong and you have spare time pick any other workout from this marathon or from my channel but make sure that you're balancing it make sure that if you're training upper body you then train your lower body and ideally do the full body workout because you never know how busy you're going to be the following day and now we're doing our push-up for the very last time so let's get this one done with the best form tilt your pelvic floor and go down into push-up elbow staying in 
going down, coming up slowly, and don't lock your elbows. Nice and straight arms, but elbows are off lock. And coming up. Once again, there are so many variations for every single level. If that is too hard, your movement is going to be small. It's going to be just a half rep. And then you're going to progress slowly and you're going to become stronger. And you will see, oh, that is too easy for me. And I always give you tips on how to make it easier or harder. So you will know exactly what you need to do. And we are done with this workout. Now make sure that you stretch your upper body at least ideally the full body as i suggest but at least upper body so do stretches like this for your shoulders definitely stretch your triceps the basic stretches even if it's a minute it's much better than nothing and remember to enjoy your day and the main thing as always love yourself and love your life and i love you all very very much and i'm super happy that we've been doing this for almost three weeks and i'm actually a bit sad that it's coming to an end but i'm still here and we're going to do something different so now drink plenty stretch and enjoy your day and i'll see you all tomorrow don't miss it it's going to be another workout and bye for now